Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to talk about a little bit about the task that I set and just about how to find the equation of some of the lines on here. So if I go here, insert pen, you can see this line here. All the coordinates along this line are 0, 5, 1, 5, 2, 5, 3, 5, 4, 5, etc. We can see that the second coordinate is always 5. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to call this line here, the second coordinate, y equals 5. So we're going to call this y equals 5. Alright, now this line here that stretches from 0, 8 to 8, 0. Well, you can see that if you think of it this way, I've, if this was hours and this was litres, my bucket has lost 8 litres in 8 hours. So that's 1 litre an hour. So I could call this y equals negative 1x. But actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this y equals negative x y equals negative x and where does it go through the y-axis positive 8 so y equals negative x plus 8 okay lovely stuff all right now you see this line here this line here well after four hours I've lost 8 litres of water. After 4 hours, I've lost 8 litres of water. So that means this line here is going to be... Oops, it easy. So this line here is going to be y equals negative 2x. y equals negative 2x plus, oops, it's easy, 8. Wonderful. Okay, now, this line here, well, after 8 hours, I've lost 2 litres. So, after 4 hours, I would lose 1 litre. So I'm going to call this line here y equals negative one quarter x. And where does it go through the y-axis? Positive two. Wonderful. Okay, so that's how we do those. Now, let's move on down here. Now you see this vertical line here. This vertical line, it go, it intersects seven zero, seven one, seven two, seven three, seven four, seven five, etc. If we revert back to here, we can see the first value, the x value, is always seven. So what we're going to do is we're going to call this line here x equals seven. X equals seven. Now you see this line here, this very short line here, you can see that for every one hour I get paid three dollars. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to call this y equals 3x because for every hour I get paid three dollars. Alternatively, you could draw an imaginary line there every time we go across one go up 3. So this is y equals 3x and where does it intersect the y-axis? Positive 5. Can you see where it intersects the y-axis at positive 5? There we go. y equals 3x positive 5. Likewise here you can see that I worked for one hour and I earn seven dollars. So I'm going to call this y equals 7x 
plus one. Okay, now this one here. Now we're only using whole squares. So you can see that I worked for four hours and I only earn a dollar. Okay, in four hours I earn a dollar. So I'm going to call this y equals one quarter x. Where does it go through the y axis? Positive three. Okay. You see this one here? Well, I work for six hours, and can you see it goes up two dollars? So if I work for six hours and I earn two dollars in six hours, that's the same as earning um, one dollar for three hours' work. So what is the run? Sorry, the, what is the rise divided by the run? What's two divided by six? One third. Y equals one third X. Where does it go through the Y axis? Positive one. Wonderful. Oops, a daisy. Okay. Let's go down to the next one. Okay, now look here. Look at this line. I work for five hours. You see I work for five hours and I earn $20 because it goes from negative 20 up to zero. So if I earn $20 in five hours, how much do I earn an hour? $4 an hour. So we're going to call this y equals four x y equals 4x where does it intersect the y-axis negative 20 y equals 4x negative 20 okay you see this line here I, I've got my bucket in three hours it's leaked by 30 liters so this is y equals so what's 30 divided by 3, negative 10 x plus 30. Negative 10 x plus 30. Okay, uh, you see this line here? Horizontal line, y equals 60 y equals 60 easy as that and we see this line here i've had my bucket for two hours and it's leaked 50. so that we're going to call this y equals negative 25x where does it intersect the y-axis positive 50. Perfect. Okay. Now, let's just have a look up here. Now, when we do these, what we need to do is we need to find the intersect. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to call this, I'm just going to delete this section here. Okay. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to call this, this coordinate, x1 sorry this y1 this x2 this y2 and to work out the gradient of the line so you could just think of it um, a little bit easier that you say for, I'm, got, I'm working from four o'clock in the morning to eight o'clock in the morning. So that means I work for four hours. And how much do I earn in four hours? How much do I earn? I earn $30 in four hours. 
So now what we're going to do is we write down the m value is equal to the gradient is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, so now I'm going to make a little bit more space. You won't have to. So I'm just going to write down here. So we do the y2 value. So we do 37 take away 7 over 8 minus 4. Okay, so that's going to give us 30 divided by 4. Not a particular pleasant gradient. 30 divided by 4 is going to give me a gradient of 7.5. Wonderful. So now I know I've got a gradient of 7.5. Just make some more space. So now I pick a coordinate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this coordinate here. I write down, oops, a daisy, y equals mx plus c. y equals mx plus c. And what I do is I put down my y value. What's the y value here? The y value here is 7. 7 equals, what's the gradient we just worked out? 7.5. Okay, what's the x value? What are we multiplying by? The x value is 4. Hang on, hang on a second. 7.5 times 4 is 30, but I need it to equal 7. Hmm, how much do I need to take away? I need to subtract 23. Okay, so now what is the equation of the line? Y equals 7.5x minus 23. That is the equation of the line that intersects those two. Okay, so now, same again here. So when I work out the gradient, um, I should determine that I'm going across 4 and I'm going to go down 2. So that means I know that my gradient, my m, equals negative 1 half. I write down y equals mx plus c. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick a coordinate. I'm going to pick this coordinate here. So what's the y value? Is it 10 or 5? It's 5. So I write down 5 equals negative a half times 10. Hang on, hang on. What's negative a half of 10? Negative a half of 10 is negative 5. But I need it to equal positive 5. How much do I need to add to get from negative 5 all the way to positive 5? Ah, I need to add 10. Okay, I need to add 10. Okay. Wonderful. So now what is the equation of the line that connects these two together? y equals negative one half x plus 10. Wonderful. Okay. Right. Last little bit. Find the x-intercept. So, the x-intercept 
is where does it intersect the x-axis? Well, this axis is also called y equals 0. It's also called y equals 0. So let me think. Hang on. Hang on. So if I want to find the x-intercept, what I have to do is I have to make y equal to 0. So I write 0 equals 7x plus 35. Wonderful. And now I'm going to solve my equation. So I'm minus 35 on both sides. I'm minus 35 here and minus 35 here. So I'm left with minus 35 equals 7x. And I then divide both sides by 7. When I divide both sides by 7, what's minus 35 divided by 7? Negative 5. So we end up with the x-intercept is negative 5, comma, 0. Okay, same here. We make y equal to 0. And what we're going to do, we're going to add 6x to both sides. We're going to add 6x here. And we're going to add 6x there. So now we're going to end up with 6x equals 24. 6x equals 24. Excellent. So now let's solve to find out x. We divide both sides by 6. Divide both sides by 6. So what's 24 divided by 6? 4. So the x-intercept is going to be 4, comma, 0. Excellent. All right. Thank you for watching this.